look for a career in the industry, the best things that you can really do are the obvious things that everyone always states. Try and get industrial placements, try and do internships. They're all really beneficial and literally going into industry is the scariest thing in the world. At least I know I thought that when I was leaving a university and I know a lot of my friends did. Try and apply for as many things as you can. Try and get as much, as much experience as you can of going through the interview process. Be confident in the skills that you have. Like, don't worry obviously worry about your technical skills but it's not all about that it's about being able to communicate effectively it's about being able to problem solve i didn't have a typical engineering background prior to coming to university so when i went to college i kind of just winged it going into college and picked what i enjoyed and halfway through my college course i decided i wanted to go into um, something more logical pragmatic um, problem solving and my college tutor recommended i do engineering so he fast-tracked me to go on to a maths uh, A-level, and then I took a year out before coming to university. So when thinking about coming to university, I didn't really know what type of engineering I wanted to do. And Axie at the time was offering a really broad range of engineering topics, so you kind of got to experience all kind of walks of engineering, so electronic, mechanical, aeronautical, biomedical. I chose to do computer systems uh, because it offered me a really broad range of engineering skills. I don't like to look at specific components of a system. I really like a whole system level overview and Axie really offered that and it's kind of something that I've carried across into my career and what I do now. Arm in particular are a uh, silicon company so they develop system IP. Intellectual property is kind of you don't design or fabricate anything you you kind of make the design in software and then you sell that to people and license it and you gain royalties from it and that's kind of our business model. People typically think that what Arm are looking for are design engineers but they're really looking for for software engineers as well. And Axie kind of gives you that knowledge of both sides. So I knew the electronic side, and I knew the software side, so I could see it from a system level perspective. And that's primarily the reason they look at people from departments like Axie. When I was a student, I was kind of always a bit confused as to what I should be learning, what I should be focusing on and things like that. Um, but after going into industry, Axie prepared me really, really well for it. And having like modules that were completely different from each other next to each other was really beneficial in the sense that it taught me to be dynamic. I could easily context switch so I could go from doing electronic engineering to doing mechanics or to doing aeronautical or anything like that. And the ability to context switch and kind of keep all that in my head at one time, that's been really, really useful for me. And because it spans across all um, disciplines of engineering, I met so many different people across my course. I got to learn how to communicate really well with people from all different disciplines. And that was the best thing for me and how it prepared me for my career.